the fish, you know, you, you strip. So it's the same stripping, you dare, you strip, and then you're gonna feel it's pulling away, you know, like, like mm -hmm. a salmon, you know, it's pulling yeah. a bit. You don't feel a big bump, like a burnt fish, you know, or, or a trigger. So how you set the hook, you just strip, you feel it, you just strip strike faster. Just long strip, you don't leave the rod un unless you know the fish is pulling, then when it's pulling, then in running, you lift your rod like that, you don't lift your rod over here. Because what happened, the fish, they fight in three phases. The first one is pretty much aerial, you know, they jump or they run, you know, really shallow water, and they stay with the school. We need to break the fish out of the school, you will see, we're going to follow them with the engine, because they stay and they, they carry on feeding sometimes, you know. And then after that, the fish is running deep, so we need to bring the fish up. So it's, it's a long fight most of the time if they run deep, you know, we're in like 20 or 30 meters of water because they go deep and down. So we read in, read in, read in. You don't put side pressure like done and dirty as long as you don't see where the fish is hooked. Because if he's hooked, you know, in the upper lips, it's good. On the scissors, it's good. If he's hooked on the lower lip, you know, on the inside, it's really bad because you're gonna, you're gonna cut it. They're really soft in the mouth. Then once the fish, that's the third phase, is around the boat, then you see where the fly is, you could go, you know, down and dirty, left or right, depending on how they move. Not, not too much, you know, up like this. But more on the left, because the fish is going to swim kind of there, close to the surface, it's going to go down, rush a bit. So what you want is to break its balance, to bring it up. So if the fish is running, I mean, I would say left to right, you're going to put your rod, you know, on the opposite. It's going this way, you put your rod like that. It's going right to left, you put your rod down in the water, opposite way, like this, okay? And you use, you know, the backbone of your rod. So when the same, when you're going to fight uh, the fish that is going to be deep, we're going to be with a, trying to get a 45 angle with the fish into the water, and you use, you know, that section of your rod. You don't bring your rod, you know, high up and it's bending like this, this is how you're going to break it. And I'm going to set the drag properly, and you don't, you don't touch your drag, you know? You don't palm, you don't hold the handle when it's running, it's just like, not like, it's like a burnt fish, but even stronger. It's on the drag, you let the drag go, you let it get tired on the drag. Palming, it's really tricky because they burst fast. And then most of the time you're going to break the tippet. So let's find some fish.
once it's floating, you know, closer to the boat, then you feel like the top of the Wind down, wind down, wind down. There we go.